What's going on guys, it's Rated here and welcome back to the channel. Today I have you guys another Pokemon Go video and in this one guys, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can get any single Pokemon you want within this game. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it and just before we do begin with today's video, I am still hosting that account giveaway here on the channel. Uh, the steps will be on screen so all you're going to have to do is leave a like down below and all you're going to have to do is also comment your team down below so that's either Team Valor, Team Mystic or Team Instinct. So just leave your comment down below and also leave a like on this video let's try and shoot for something well over 400 likes on this that'd be absolutely insane and with that said guys let's begin with today's video so what you guys are actually going to need to go ahead and do because you are going to need to go ahead and teleport to different locations using this if you guys want to capture any single pokemon within the game uh, you guys can actually check back on my channel i did post a video yesterday which is actually a brand new hack which is working for the patch 1.31 uh, like i did say i will also link it down in the description below if you guys want to go check that out because you are going to need it for this video and starting off as you guys can see i was actually just soft banned within this gameplay and i actually managed to go ahead and unban myself which i will be going on later in the video but as you can see i'm just capturing a few pokemons where i did teleport to the location using a website called pokey snipers and you guys will be seeing here on screen right now i'm actually going to go ahead and bring up the website on safari you guys can be doing this from a computer any single location uh, you, can, you can even be using a different device if you want to go ahead and snipe the pokemon but the way i prefer to do it is have safari open on a different application and also pokemon open at the same time as you can pretty much just flick through both of them but as you can see on this website called pokey snipers what you guys are going to go ahead and do is notice that there's a ton of different pokemon that do pop up uh, some of them which will be very high cp some of them which will be very low cp uh, but as you guys can see right now i am actually trying to find a pokemon that's located quite close to me so i don't actually receive a soft ban as you can see right now, I went to the location 52.385, so on and so forth, and for the second one it was 4.8, but as you guys can see, just below where all the Pokemons are shown on screen, uh, you will notice my coordinates in-game, and I actually did teleport quite far away, which was unfortunate because I did end up receiving a soft ban from this. As you can see, it wanted to move me 672 kilometers away, which is a very far distance, and unfortunately, you do get soft ban. But as soon as you teleport and you know sort out the coordinates, make sure it's all correct, you guys can notice on the sightings, it actually is going to show you guys the Gyarados that I did actually teleport to. And after you wait a few seconds, maybe around 20 seconds, it will spawn in right on top of you. So you literally get placed right on top of the Pokemon that you are going to go ahead and capture. But like you did say, I did unfortunately get soft ban as it was very very far and it was a very far distance to actually teleport to uh, as you can see once you know your soft band is pretty much as soon as the pokemon is captured you will notice it will get out of the pokeball and run away instantly and if you guys go ahead and go to a gym you cannot fight anyone in the gym and you will notice that the poke stops each time you spin them they don't actually give you any reward but a way that you can actually unban yourself, which is from the soft ban, all you're going to go ahead and do is go over to a pokey stop. And you're going to have to spin it a ton of times. Like literally, you're going to have to spin it, exit out of the poker stop, go back on it, spin it, exit out, and so on and so forth. And this will take you around 50 different times until you do get unbanned. You will notice when you get unbanned because the poker stop turns into a purple color and you will eventually receive your rewards from the poker stop. Now, not all the time you are going to be getting soft banned within this while teleporting, but there's a very high chance that you are going to get. The good thing about it, the soft ban doesn't last long. It maybe lasts around 30 minutes. Uh, if you guys want to wait that time out, then you can go ahead and do so. It really does depend on where you are teleporting. If you're teleporting over the other side of the world, you're going to have to wait like four hours until you get unbanned. If you're teleporting into like a different city, it's not going to take too long. You'll get unbanned maybe in 30 minutes. But as you can see right now, I'm going to be teleporting to a ton of different Pokemon just to show you guys that the Pokemon actually do spawn on this website. So I really didn't care about the soft ban. I wasn't trying to go ahead and capture the Pokemon at this point. I just wanted to show you guys for this video. But as you can see on that one right there, it said that the Pokemon was actually 8,000 kilometers away, which was very far distance. I didn't want to teleport that far uh, because I knew I was going to get soft ban. So I tried to find a Pokemon that's pretty much closer to me but not too far away at the same time and i was trying to find you know maybe a rare pokemon but i just went for this Gengar right here and uh, i pretty much just copied the coordinates down which is longitude and latitude 
and I delete them from the coordinate teleporter um, on the application and you're going to go ahead and copy and paste the coordinates in. Remember to copy the last part and actually take it out and also make sure you don't leave the comma there as you guys can see right now and make sure there is no space at the beginning of the coordinates either because that will mess you up. I only actually teleported 56 kilometers on this one but I was still softbound which was very confusing. I have no clue because 54 kilometers is not that far in my opinion especially when it comes to teleporting within this game i used to be getting away with it by teleporting literally across the whole entire world capturing a pokemon and i didn't get soft ban but it seems like they've actually updated their application where soft bans are handed out more frequently now which isn't too bad of a thing considering there's a ton of people who are using this hack and you know we can't just get away with using these hacks all the time and they will eventually be patched but you guys can expect to see another video here on the channel maybe later on today or even tomorrow of an updated version of this hack it's literally 10 times better you hardly ever get soft banned and i will also have a really cool video on where you can capture a ton of rare uh, pokemons within this game as well not only with this website but with a little uh, document that i'm actually setting up for you guys which are going to contain all of the locations where you guys can capture a ton of different pokemon but as you can see right now i was just trying to unbound myself by spinning the poker stop a few times after a while i do have to say it does get very boring after you do capture the few pokemon that you want but like i did say just go for the pokemon that you really really want to get within your poker deck and the ones that you haven't actually captured yet but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video like i did say at the beginning of the video i am still hosting a giveaway of the level 29 account it does have a few rare pokemon on it it actually has a dragonite a uh, gyarados all above level 2000 which is great uh, for you guys who are quite low level and can't actually go ahead and use this hack or it's not working for you guys but definitely leave a comment down below if you need any help with this or if you need any help or assistance with the hack be sure to also follow me on twitter it will be linked down in the description below but other than that guys hope you do enjoy this video hope you guys had a great day and until next time i am out peace